Hey you guys, Sean with Coke Gloves here and in today's video we're going to be restoring a really cool Wilson A2000. So you've seen in the past how I've restored and refurbished gloves and I have a separate video on how to do that and make some money doing so. But today we're going to put that video to use and I actually found a really good deal on a Wilson A2000 glove of the month from Eric Sogard. It's a really nice looking glove and it is used. However, we got it for $130. So we're going to pick it up. I'm going to bring it back and we're going to restore it and relace it and clean it and condition it and make it look all better and brand new. And then we're going to sell it and see how much profit we can make. I've resold about a hundred gloves and I just want to show you guys how easy it is and how you can make some extra cash if you need a side job or anything like that. Also, if you want to know how I restore the glove, I'm not going into super deep detail in this video. It's more like a vlog style video. So if you guys want to see a tutorial, I do have one on my channel of a glove restoration. So go check that one out. I restored a Rawlings Har of the Hide and it turned out very well. So make sure you guys check that one out. Without further ado, I'm meeting this guy in about an hour and he's about 40 minutes away. So I'll take you guys in the car with me and then we'll go head over to get the glove. If I could write you a song to make you fall in love no masterpiece hey. 10 bad so right now your life is so boring it's been a really really messed up week if i would already have you up under my arm all right, y'all, we are finally back home. I hope you liked the dancing and singing montage and everything while I was on the way to get the glove. And now that we have it, it's in here. You can see it is in a used condition. Um, there is some, some wear and tear on it. There's some cracking in the palm. However, a lot of it can be fixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the laces out of this because it's a lot easier to clean and condition once the laces are out. So I am gonna relace it anyway. So I'm gonna do that and then show you guys a little bit of how I do it. All right, so the first thing that I do whenever I'm gonna clean my glove is I get a little jar of water as well as a brush and then some leather cleaner. So all you do is apply this leather cleaner on the brush, kind of like toothpaste, swish it around in some water and then get to scrubbing where you see the dirt has collected on the glove. Because this glove is pretty well used, it's gonna take a while. So I'll give you guys a great look at this before I get started, then we'll speed it up and I'll show you guys the results. Okay guys, I just got all of the laces out of it. So we're about to clean and condition it. If you're wondering what a glove looks like when it's all taken apart, here it is. I have the web separate from all the other fingers and then you can actually look inside here. You have some padding and then palm adhesive. Um, I will be replacing that as well. So now that it's all apart, it is a lot easier to clean and condition because you can get all in the little nooks and crannies of it. So we're about to do that now. I'll show you guys how I start my cleaning process and then uh, we'll speed that up because it is going to take a while. All right, so the first thing that I do is just get this brush a little bit wet, swirl it around in some water. And then honestly, just like you would brush your teeth, put some Lexol leather cleaner on here and then start scrubbing the dirt spot. Most of it is in the palm, so that's where I'm gonna start. Okay guys, the glove is all cleaned up now. It might look a little dark. It still has to dry because that water and cleaner is still in there. So it will dry and then come to a color about this because I didn't clean the web yet. I am going to condition it. So it also will get darker, bring back some of that nice saddle tan color in there. And then we are going to relace it as soon as the lace comes in. So I'll be in new clothes and everything, but uh, you'll get to see this when it is all done. Three days later. All right, you guys, we are back and we finally got the lace in the mail. If you guys are looking to relace a glove, I highly recommend getting this Rawlings relace pack. I get it all the time whenever I have a new glove to relace. It's a perfect amount of lace and it's pretty high quality. You know, Rawlings does a great job on their lace control. So I definitely recommend this. It's not paid or anything, but I just wanna help you guys out if you're ever looking to relace a glove. 
Um, these are really cheap on Amazon too. They're about 20 bucks and it gives you a full amount of lace to relace a glove and sometimes even have a little bit of extra. So if there's another glove that I have to relace, um, maybe I can use that for some parts on there. But anyways, go check this out if you ever have to relace a glove. And if you guys don't remember, here is what the glove looks like when it's all undone without any lace in it. And once we relace it, we're gonna hopefully put it up for sale and get some good profit on it. I'm trying to make this video as realistic as possible for you guys so that you know that you can resell gloves and make some money off of it for a side hustle or if you need some extra cash. Also, the other tool that I'll be using besides the lace is this glove relacing needle. You can see the front of it is actually flat and the rest of it is like a tube and you screw in the lace on the end there. The glove relace kit actually comes with a tool that you can use but I'm not really that fond of it and this actually works a lot better. So if you are getting into relacing, um, I would highly recommend using one of these. I think two of them was like $10 on Amazon and it's definitely lasted me a long time as well. So it's a great purchase if you are relacing a glove. Okay, and before I get started relacing this glove, I'm not gonna do a whole tutorial on it because it just takes a really long time but if you're interested in relacing a glove the way I learned was actually watching YouTube videos there's a guy on here called dirty 30 leather he has some insane tutorials on there they're really easy you can skip forward rewind everything that you need and they're really helpful and in-depth so go check him out but the last thing I want to say is just from my experience in the past of relacing gloves you definitely want to start on the thumb and pinky of the glove because there are hidden runs in the glove so what that means is there's about four lace holes on the back right here you can see but then there's five on the inside so the lace does some funky stuff on the inside padding of the glove and it's a lot easier when you still have it opened up but once you do that heel lacing on the bottom you can't really open up the glove anymore so it's definitely a lot easier to do those hidden runs while you can get to every nook and cranny of the glove so that's all I have for my tip on that and now we're gonna start relacing this glove on I'll speed it up for you guys and then get back to you again once I'm all done All right, y'all, it's been about an hour and I'm completely done relacing the glove. So without further ado, here it is. It looks so much better all put together. I'm really happy how it came out. Hopefully, it'll fetch for a good amount of money so I can show you guys really how much money you can make with a super easy and fun side hustle, especially if you like baseball gloves like me, it doesn't even feel like work. It's really something that I enjoy and hopefully I can help you guys make some money as well. And one more thing, now that I just finished relacing this, you do have to tie knots on all of your laces and if you guys don't know how to tie a baseball glove knot, even if you can't refurbish your glove, I think having all your knots match and look really good really helps out the aesthetic of your glove. So I'm gonna show you guys how to tie a baseball knot. If you don't know how to, this should help you out a lot and make it pretty simple. So the first thing on your lace is you have a smooth side as well as a rough side. So the first thing that you want to do is get your two pieces right here and have the smooth sides facing each other. Once you have the two smooth sides facing each other, you want to put one lace down and then wrap the other one around it just like that and then you can tighten it. And now both of the rough sides of the lace should be face up. And now once you have this, you want to do the opposite. So the one that you wrapped around, you should now lay flat like this and then with the other side, wrap it around and then pull it tightly and that should give you a perfect square knot or a baseball glove knot. Okay, now that we're all done, I'm gonna show you guys a before and after of this to see how good of a job that we did refurbishing it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures. Hopefully we can list it on Instagram and eBay and get some quick sales and I can show you guys exactly how much money that we made on this.
right, you guys, that is all I have for today's video of refurbishing a glove from OfferUp. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't have any offers yet on it so far, but if you follow my Instagram at GoGloves or check out the link in the description down below, I will keep you updated on what the glove sells for and I will show you guys really how much money you can make in a very easy way. Also, I have been super busy with school, but I am going to try to post as often as possible, so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.